All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we'll be reviewing HR1845. HR stands for Orochi Robina. Good looking cigar. They have a semi close foot. That's the cigar, look good. So, YouTube and age restricting my video before it come out, so uh, I'm gonna have to put the intro right where I light it, I guess. But yeah, it smells a little musty. Can't smell the foot, but it have a nice cocoa sweetness, tobacco to it. Wow. Okay, now I could smell the foot. All right, let's cut it and light it. Nice clean cut. Cold draw. Good draw. A little white pepper, a little cocoa, a little chocolate, a lot of sweet tobacco. It's salty on the lip. Wow, okay. All right, let's hit the intro. Boom. Stop, babe, you're late. Look at my face and what did you see? I'm on your light, your light. I know you shit at me. What did you do? This you said. Very sweet tobacco, a little bit of white pepper on the retro hell. A little cocoa, there's like a char steak taste to it, like a char savory. Pretty good start, not too bad. Alright, I see you guys at the end of the first third. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the first third. So, the cigar, very nice. The spice have went away, calmed down a quite bit from the light up. It's basically not been there. But it also have this undertone. It have cocoa, chocolate, undertone of wood, leather, and a sweet, like, but it's not like, it's not like in your face sweet mustiness, but it's a funky sweetness aged tobacco right underneath the chocolate and the wood and the leather it's actually very pleasant it's not overpower or anything and the retro hell is a little bit white pepper spice with oak wood and very salty on the finish all right that's it for the first third i see you guys at the end of the second third all right guys welcome back uh, we at the end of the second third so nothing really changed except for the chocolate have taken over with the cocoa the wood and earthiness have laid back a little bit still have that sweet sweet actually it, it, it ramped up a little bit have that sweet uh, funky mushrooms aged tobacco sweetness undertone and the finish is also added some hazelnuts yeah definitely hazelnut on the retro after the finish with a little bit of white white pepper spice which is very enjoyable so far this cigar surprised me actually all right and that's it for the second third i see you guys right at the band in the quarter way in the final third all right guys we're back in the quarter in the, from the final third so nothing changed <laughs> yeah literally not nothing nada still the same note Take off this band. Here's the band. Good looking band. HR. So yeah, nothing changed. So I see you guys at the end of the cigar. Look at this ash. Ash. <laughs> It 
to burn a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the cigar. So, it have all the element of the coffee, cocoa, sweetness of the aged tobacco, musty funkiness undertone with a black pepper spice on a retro hell now, but it's not interfering. It's not too much. It's just there. And a retro hell also it added an element of uh, cinnamon now, which is nice. I like that. The whole cigar experience is pretty good. So I would rate this cigar from 1 to 10 at 7. Pretty good. A little bit over average. I would definitely smoke again. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, very enjoyable.